Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today you join me at BMW Park Lane and the reason we are here is to spec our brand new M4 with xDrive. Behind me I have a xDrive M4 but it's convertible. Don't worry guys I'm not going to get a convertible. It is going to be a coupe. As you know we already have the GATM3 which is rear wheel drive but it was always in our plans to get the four wheel drive one because we need the extra grip when we start tuning the car. So let's go over and see Peter and spec the car up. Okay, so today we're going to be showing you a new tool called EVE, which is the Emotional Virtual Experience. And what it is, is a tool to help us design the customer's car, given using augmented re reality, virtual reality, and uh, a screen, which we're going to be showing you here in a minute, where we can show the different angles of the car, we can go into the interior and really give you an all-around experience of how your car will eventually look. I'm looking forward to seeing this because I've seen other manufacturers do yeah. it but haven't seen it from BMW yet mm -hmm. so we've always had when you spec a car you always get a couple of pictures of what it might exactly. look like but you don't really get an immersive, massive sure. experience of what it's going to be like so we're just starting off here with a blank slate exactly yeah. blank, canvas. Uh, blank canvas the car's alpine white it has no spec on it at the moment and initially the first thing I can see I want to change is the the front lights okay so I want the same ones we've got on our oxide gray Yep, so here you can see the picture with the standard LED lights. We're now going to add the visibility pack, which will give you the laser lights. Mm -hmm. So the laser lights will uh, go enhance the visibility from 300 meters to 600 meters. And it will also give these lovely blue accents that you can see there and change the shape slightly, as you can see. Yeah, so there you have it. Looks a lot better. Yeah, and we can actually oh, also wow, turn you can on the indicator. Can. So you can see how that works. So if you spun that around the back, would it then show you the indicator on the... Yeah, the rear light yeah, yeah. As well. definitely. And that's the great thing about this tool. We can go all around the car, see different animations, different angles of the car. Yes, yeah, the light reflecting off the surfaces makes such a big difference. Definitely. So you can see the lines of the car. I mean, this car is alpine white, so it's not reflecting a huge amount, but mm -hmm. you can, but you can still, still see, see the lines. Yeah, really you can well. still even yeah. in the, the front arch and coming into the, the rear quarter with the lights. Mm -hmm. That's very, very cool. So if we wanted to change the wheels, mm -hmm. um, obviously I'm going to change the wheels quite quickly, but it's going to have to come with something. Definitely. Um, so let's have a look at some of the different wheel options yes. we can have on it. So we're going to look at the wheel options. As you can see here, it zooms in nicely on the wheel. We can even animate the wheel. So it can ah. turn from left to right. So you can see where it looks so like. You can see it slightly from a different yeah. angle, because I think that makes a big difference. And if you wanted to see uh, the wheels in motion, then you can also change the environment in the background. So here we have an example of the wheel oh. in motion, the standard wheel. And then we can go back to the camera control and really zoom in on the wheel so you can see it in motion properly. This is a really exciting tool because yeah. again, you know, if we don't have the right spec in stock or in the showroom and the customer really wants to see it, I think this is the absolute best we can do. And so far, it's really, really proven a success. It really gives a good representation of what the wheel would yeah. look like from different angles. The other thing I've noticed with this background you've got going on, it's really showing off the, the light reflecting mm -hmm. off the lines of the car. So it's very good for showing off what the car is actually Definitely. going to look like. Especially once we change the color, then yeah. you can really see how, what kind of impact it makes, especially on changing the background. And so can we have a look at some of the different designs? Definitely. Okay. So yeah. here we have the standard wheel. Mm -hmm. Then we have a black design with the chrome finish on the outside. Yep. That's the one I currently have on the yep. oxide gray, which exactly. is a very nice wheel. And then you can also go for a black option or black. I don't know, black, a lot of people like black wheels. The reason why I don't like them, I do like them in real life, but I don't like them because when you're taking pictures for Instagram and for social media, the black yeah. doesn't really show up. Sure. <laughs> so that's why I like going for yeah, something. Yeah, it kind of makes the wheel look hollow inside sometimes. So it's nice to also go with the classic design, So silver. Well, yeah, I want to go for the silver, these silver ones because mm -hmm. I'm probably going to change them okay. anyway, but that looks half decent. The other thing that's like very obvious to me um, is because I'm going to keep this car for quite a while, I want to go for ceramic brakes. Okay. So what's the best way for me to incorporate ceramic brakes? In that case, brakes? you would want to go for the Pro Pack. So by selecting the Pro Pack, it adds the carbon ceramic brakes. So once I click on them, then you can see immediately how it changes on the screen as well. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, you can see it. So bigger so and it's the gold nice and gold. Colors, <laughs> yeah, which are unique to the carbon ceramic brakes. 
And also part of the M Pro pack is you get the driver's pack that mm -hmm. gets you an enhanced limiter on the top speed. I believe that's um, 180 something. I believe so. I haven't yeah. tried it myself. No, okay. um, I'll, I'll let you probably know. won't try it until <laughs> I go to Germany next time. <laughs> so I'll let you know. There we go. Cool. Okay, so I think in terms of exterior, that's probably where we want to be. Uh, the other thing I'm not going to get it is, but you can actually show what the carbon pack looks like. Yes. On this. The carbon pack. So again, on a white car, it probably will show the easiest, but once I select it, oh, then yeah, you, you can, can see, see immediately yeah. carbon uh, brakes, rear diffuser, and let's spin the car around to the rear. You can see it. Let's see if we can get a close up here. There you have yeah. it. Yeah, again, a very good representation of what the car mm -hmm. will look like with that pack on. So the next thing I want to look at is exterior color. White's very boring. Um, when we ordered the G80, we had ordered Isle of Man Green, but the order was mm -hmm. delayed mm -hmm. and um, we had to go for Oxide Grey because that's what was in stock. Don't get me wrong, I'm really happy with that colour. It's an amazing it's colour. Much better than I thought it would be and it has influenced a lot of people to go for that colour now yeah. they've actually seen it on our car. But I want to go for an individual colour because I'm not in a mad rush for the four-wheel mm -hmm. drive version. So on this particular configurator, the individual colours are not available so we'll run through them on the old yep we're going to run through one. them on the old system unfortunately they're not available yet on the eve system um it is available to a limited extent so i could show you for example two quick colors uh that are individual on which are one is frozen brilliant white mm -hmm. which you can see here and then the frozen portima blue so the frozen colors give the car a frozen effect just yeah. like the name says sort of a matte finish, some people like to say it. It almost looks like the car's wrapped, but this is all done at the factory. And um, yeah, it looks amazing depending on what you can get. But through the individual program, of course, there are more options available in Frozen, mm -hmm. but I think you wanted to go for something slightly different, so. Yeah, so the th I've got three colors in mind. Okay. Uh, the first one is uh, Donna Bella Purple, which mm -hmm. I believe is a Rolls Royce color. Yeah. So let's have a quick look at that. Yeah. Uh, the second colour I wanted to look at is Verdi Hermes okay. and I love that colour as soon as I saw it. I think it was on the Concept M8 Grand Coupe yes. was a yeah, Verdi yeah, Hermes. Yeah. It's got that nice gold fleck Definitely. in it so I'm very interested in that colour so let's take a look at that. And the third colour which is probably not going to be a surprise to anyone is Verdi Mantis because mm. we already have an F80 M3 in Verdi Mantis and it also um, the Huracan is the same colour. So really interested to see what that's going to look like on that car. Definitely. So guys, individual color wise, I haven't decided. If you guys have any suggestions what you think we should get or what we might get, drop them in the comments below. But while we do have the Eve system up, let's go through some of the standard colors that are available and see what difference that makes on the screen. Yeah, so just to show everyone, as part of the customer journey, you can come in to, to your local dealer and ask your representative to change the color. And here you can see black sapphire metallic, Portomar Blue, Dravet Grey, which was actually an individual color also yeah. up to a few years ago. Now it's starting to it's show up on a lot cool of the color, color schemes. Toronto Red, which is one of my favorite. Can't I really like red on Toronto M4. Red on an M3 and M4. Especially if you really look at good. the front view here again, it has this really mean, aggressive look, as we all know. Yeah, and, and as we've left the carbon pack on here at the moment, that really yeah, stands out. Exactly. It contrasts so exactly. well against yeah. the red. That's, uh, Toronto Red is probably one of my favorite standard colors. Yeah. Here we have the Tanzanite Blue, which has grown on me more and more now. One of my favorite colors is Carbon Black and Tanzanite Blue is... It can look black when the light's yeah, not it's, there. It's, yeah, again, it has the same sort of effect. At night it looks black, it, during the daytime it looks more blue. It's, it's a color that changes and it's nice to have sort of a dual color, something that you know, looks different at night or during the daytime yeah. and we have a lot of those. So here's Isle of Man Green, which I'm sure a lot of you have seen out on the road and in videos and pictures. Skyscraper Grey. And another one, one of my favorites, Aventurian. Yeah, Aventurian's very nice. Okay, so for now, let's leave the um, exterior red and let's see what we can do with the interior. Okay. So in terms of detail, this is probably the, as good as it gets. We've never had an online configurator that was this accurate uh, showing the level of detail in the interior. Mm -hmm. And as our interiors get uh, 
more and more technologically advanced. You can see here the dual digital display and some of the key features below near the gear lever and the iDrive system. And the customers can then also take over and yeah, move it around themselves to see the different um, Okay, so options. on the interior with the GAEM3, again, we had spec carbon seats, but because of the delays, we just took the car and it didn't have them. Mm -hmm. So I definitely want to go for carbon seats this time. Okay, so let's get a look at the seats. Oh, there you nice. have them. You can instantly see that the design, the, the shape is, is very different. It has the carbon shell on the back and this also allows you to fold the seats forward. So another great animation tool as you can see here. You see yeah, the, the level the, of the detail is of amazing. Car. You can really see the carbon on the back of the seats mm -hmm. and you can also see the contrast stitching on yep. the armrest mm -hmm. as it comes over to the corner. Oh, you can even see the Harman Kardon. Exactly. <laughs> like like the I corner. said, the level of detail yeah, is, really is, cool. is amazing. Fold the seats down. And while we're here, can we have a look at some different uh, seat colors as well? Yeah, definitely. So here we have Fiona Red as an example. Fiona Red extended, and then you also have full Merino, which extends to the dashboard. Oh, so it comes up the, the side, side doors. Yeah. The stitching also, if you can see it above the speedometer. There. Yes, that's changed as well. Yeah, that looks amazing. Then we have the Yaz Marina. I really like that interior. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people it's don't, but... <laughs> I think it looks pretty cool. I wasn't sure about it in the pictures, but we had a Brooklyn gray car in the shop for a little while that had those seats. And I, yeah. think, I think it really worked. No, I really liked Not them. And color. I think, uh, again, it just goes to show how our brand is constantly sort of pushing the envelope and being a bit controversial. Yeah. Well, we don't need to be. Um, but I really like this color combination. And if someone wanted something a bit more subtle, what would the... If something, be? yeah, subtle, you can always choose to go with the black that, leather, Silverstone. Yeah. Yeah, I really classy. like this. Uh, I like the contrast of having sort of black with the with the silver stone interior. Um, you can also go for a little bit more orange, yep. which I wouldn't say is conservative, but yeah, um, it, looks good. it is an option. Okay. And then you can also go for the individual interiors like ivory white to give it that nice, yeah. clean look. No jeans in that car. No though. jeans in that car, exactly. <laughs> Okay, cool. So I've definitely decided on uh, the carbon seats. Uh, when I've locked down the exterior color, then that will influence my decision yeah. on, on what combination we go for inside. Um, what's left, I think, in terms of spec, was there anything else that we needed to put on the car? So I've got the ceramic brakes. I've yep. got the Emperor pack, visibility, visibility pack. pack. I've got the ceramic brakes. Yeah, so that's, I think that's everything I wanted. I don't mm -hmm. think there's anything else. Is there anything you would suggest that we might want to add to it? Or They are also... Other options you can add onto the car, but I always like to leave this up to my customers. Yeah. Um, I don't um, want to influence them so too much. You know, of course, if they have a question about how certain things work or if yeah. it would be beneficial, then of course I recommend it. But other than that, um, that's a know. pretty decent spec, right? Yeah, this is yeah. a really good spec. And uh, once you choose the exterior color, something unique, and I think you have a really, really good package. Okay. Um, do you want to show some of the exterior shots in a different background as well, to show people what it? can actually look like in different settings. Yep. So that's now outside and I can see some exactly. trees Exactly, so this environment works really well for someone who wants to see what the car looks like in front of the house. Mm. Um, as you can see in it's the nice background, house. it's a very, very modern, <laughs> very modern house. Um, so those lucky enough to live in a house like this can get an idea of what it looks like. Yeah, it really gives, I think, a, a truer, accurate representation mm -hmm. of what the car is going to yeah. look like. Yeah, that looks really cool. And then for something a little bit more edgy, if you wanted to see how the car looks like at night. And moving. And moving with no driver. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's really <laughs> showing the surface of the cars and how the light's bouncing off them. Yeah, especially on the color as well. Yeah, if we change it quickly to maybe something even more bright, like Sao Paulo yellow. Yeah, that looks good. So I think in terms of spec, that's pretty much locked down. I just need to let you know uh, what individual color I want to go mm -hmm. for. And that's going to add a bit of time. To that's going to add a bit of time. It'd add about six to 12 weeks in some cases. Yeah. But it's definitely worth the wait because yeah, the individual so. program you can choose from so many different colors, interior and exterior. So, and if you, you know, for a car like this, you, you want to be unique. You want to set yourself apart. So. 
it's definitely worth choosing. Yeah, so guys, let us know in the comments what color you think I might go for, what we should go for. And as soon as I've uh, locked the color down, we'll get that order locked in and um, we expect to get it delivered when? Should be early part of next year. Early part of next yeah. year, so a couple of months. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please remember to smash that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. If you want to join the conversation, please drop a comment below and we'll try our best to respond to you. If you want to watch more of this project, you can do so over here. If you want to watch what YouTube thinks you might like from our other content, you can do so over here.